Hello, so this is Jim. My name is Bima Prasena, and I'm going to show you one unique mosque of Jakarta. Now, I'm going to show you this unique mosque with this. This is my action camera strapped onto my chest, and we're here at the Laosa Street, where the Chinese descendant doing their business or live in Jakarta. Now this special mosque is unlike uh, usual mosque you see in Indonesia because the architecture and the building of the mosque itself is not dedicated and originally not intended to be a, a mosque. Just right after you come in from this uh, door, you can see the data of people, the Chinese Indonesian that convert to Islam back from 1997, which is 104 people, to 2020 is 75 people. So we are here inside guys. As you can see the hall of prayer is kind of, you know, looks different, right? Because the intention, uh, the original uh, intention of this building is not for mosques. The prayer shelf or the prayer row is tilted right there because the building orientation is right there. So what's interesting is this hall is decorated with calligraphy this calligraphy is you might not see them in other places because this is very special acculturation of the chinese culture and arabic fusion into one and as you can see this is the art itself and the meaning of it so in in arabic reads Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and the Indonesian meaning is in the name of merciful Allah all right um, this is interesting I will love this it's kind of it's very obvious that two cultures it fuse into one you know but i need to i need to dig more about this art I'm going to ask Mr. Yusman Iriansha, who is the Mosque Committee member since 1994. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kalligrafi. Kita mau nanya-nanya soal apa uh, yang uh, yang unik ini gitu. Ini dua-duanya ini artinya apa nih, Pak? Yang, yang kanan ya? Artinya apa nih? Oh, sama ya? Ini bacanya sama, ini Arabman dalam bahasa Arabnya. Kalau ini Arahman juga, tapi dalam bahasa Mandarin. Dari bahasa Mandarin. Ini yeah. yang bikin siapa nih, Pak? Ini dari ini dari Tiongkok sana ya. Oleh-oleh dari Tiongkok sana, orang Muslim dari negeri Tiongkok sana. Ini oh. khas, apa kali kira khas Tiongkok ya? Dalam bahasa Mandarinnya. Keren ya, karena berbeda sekali soalnya biasanya kalau kita uh, kaligrafi itu ya bentuknya nggak kayak gini. Ini. Ah, ya. ini ya beda kaligrafi Timur Tengah sama kaligrafi Tiongkok ya. Hmm. Nah, Mandarin. Gitu. Gitu. Kalau ini, uh, kalau tulisan-tulisan di samping-sampingnya ini, Pak? Ya, ini, ini, ini uh, tahun dibuatnya aja, tahun kapan oh, dibuatnya, kapan siapa yang buatnya, gitu, karyanya siapa. Oh, gitu. ini yang merah ini ada siapa, ini apa namanya, stempelnya, stempelnya ya, ya, gitu ya? Yang, yang bikinnya lah itu. Yang ya. bikinnya gitu. Oh, oh. gitu.
Next, we are going to talk about Chinese Indonesian assimilation in the country with the president of Haji Karim Ui Foundation. And also, we are going to find out more about calligraphy. So, stay tuned. Karena selama ini umat Islam di Indonesia kurang memperhatikan satu etnis Tionghoa. 